Next sky that I'm going to do is a beautiful blue sky. I am going to negative paint around it. So I'm going to leave the white areas for the clouds. You can draw down your clouds first, but I'm just going to wing it and take the pressure off and just have fun. So again, I'm going to get my cobalt blue ready, mixed up. I'm coming in and wetting down. I'm going to come in and I'm dropping in the paint and leaving the holes. You can pick it up and manipulate it. You have to get in right away and soften. And you can do a combination of lifting as well on top of just leaving white areas. You can let it dry and come back in. So I'm softening. Don't want hard edges. I'm softening. I'm going to pull in a little bit of white in here and paint around the area really to just brighten it up. Now I'm using a round brush. I'm slowing down. There's times when you want to work fast and times that you need to slow down. And this is one of the times I could go in and add gray to the bottoms of the clouds if I want, but I'm just going to keep it a beautiful blue sky. So that's pretty simple. Beautiful clouds. Again, I did a combination of leaving white holes and coming back in and lifting a little bit, lifting the white clouds. As I say, it's important to have your clouds always go off your page. And then I came back in and charged it with a darker blue. Also keep up on your drips on the side so you don't get it back flowing into your sky. Easy. Now I've got a tiny bit of speck there. I want to show you if you get a hair or a chunk of paint, never, never use your hands. Just come in with a brush and just lift it out like that. Thank you.